Here's the deal. Isolation movements are great. Single joint movements, awesome. Do them. But they're not going to be nearly as responsible for your overall growth than the big compound movements. The movements that move a lot of weight through a large range of motion, these are the exercises that work the most muscle and are going to be more responsible for your overall growth over the long haul. We hear beginners all the time saying, I don't like this exercise because I don't feel it working any particular muscle. And chances are that's why the exercise is so good because you're working a whole lot of muscle mass to the point where you don't necessarily feel it in one location. Moral of the story, do your squats, do your chin-ups, do your military press, do your deadlifts, do your hip thrusts, do your bench press, get super strong at them over time and you're going to be pretty jacked. That doesn't mean you shouldn't do your lateral raises, your curls, your tricep extensions, your leg extensions, your leg curls, your kickbacks. It just means you should, number one, prioritize the compounds over the isolations and number two, you should never avoid an exercise just because you don't necessarily feel a crazy burn or get a pump.